In this video, I'll be showing you how to add alternate text to an image in a document. Alternate text provides meaning to images for visually impaired users using a screen reader. To add alternate text to an image, right-click on the image and select Format Picture. On the right, click on Layout and Properties, which is the third icon to the right. Leave the title area blank and type a description of the image in the description area. In this case, I know that the person in the image is a college student and that she's in a library, so I'm going to type a college student reading a book in a library. When you're done, simply click on the X button to close it out. Figuring out how to describe an image for alternate text can be challenging at times, so here are a few tips and examples that can help guide you. First, there's no need to include graphic of or image of in the description since screen readers already detect the images as such. However, if the image is a painting or an illustration, it may be helpful to include that which leads to my next tip. Alternate text is strongly based on the context of the document, and there is no one right answer when describing an image. Let's take this Queensboro logo, for example. We can describe this image as Queensboro Community College logo in navy blue and orange, with the navy blue CUNY logo on the right, or just simply Queensboro Community College logo. There is no one right way to making alternate text. Let's take this image for example. The alternate text can either be as simple as handshake or businessmen shake hands to complete a contract. Again, it depends on the context. Here's another example. If the context of the document is general, for example, talking about the University of Minnesota's athletics, then a description for this image saying Goldie Gopher mascot would be sufficient. If the context is talking about university mascots across the U.S., then a description saying Goldie Gopher of the University of Minnesota would be better. If the document is showing different pictures of the mascot in different uniforms, then a better description would perhaps be Goldie Gopher in a white jersey wearing a golden headband. Here's our final example where context is necessary. If the document is talking about George Washington in general, then a sufficient description would be painting of George Washington crossing the Delaware River. However, if the context revolves around art, for example, a document talking about specific art techniques, then a better description would be a classic painting demonstrating the use of light and color to create composition. Hopefully these tips and examples give you a better idea on how to describe images for alternate text. And remember, keep it short, and there is no right way for describing an image as it is strongly based on the context of the document. 